Hello. Well, we're here at Gardenville.tv and we're planting a hedge. And um, I've been working hard here digging up this trench. <coughs> oh, please note the we. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say I did help, but then I was told I didn't go deep enough. So, okay. you better tell me what's going on here. So, right, well, you've got a bunch of um, bare root carpinus specialis, thorn, thorn bean. First thing I'm going to do is make us a line here so we plant them in a straight line. Right. Now, so we've dug nice out our trench. Stick. How yep. deep have we gone on our trench? Well, we've gone fairly deep now. Yeah, because, like, look, I mean, it's... We've gone... The soil level's there. We've gone about 8 or 10 inches down, I suppose. When I get the... Um, bundles on done then I know how if you are deep enough. Right. Now so with this you're putting this I'm just putting a line because you want to get your hedge straight, yeah? Yeah, absolutely you do. So literally I'll just run the top of it to stick. And Susan you make it look so easy. Well you just twist really... these um well, it's only, I mean, the string, you're just getting garden, a guideline here. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting a guideline. Normally you'd have a line where you've got it all tied together already. Yeah, but you know, when you're in a rush and you're going out to the garden, you don't want to spend hours so doing it. Now, is that? Straighten that up there. Okay. okay. We'll be quite straight. Hang on, I'll tell you what we'll do. Now. On the edge of where we want it, 18 inches there. There, so we need to move this one. Oh, so you're measure, measuring from the front, from well, the I line. Well, I want to wear what the line, supposing we're along the edge of a path or something. Aha, uh -huh. so this in. could be our pathway here. You're yeah. measuring so that it's, oh, clever you. Yeah. If I had put this in now, we would have been all over the place. A so, squiggly hedge. Right, now we need okay. to undo the bundle of... Right, so here's our bundle. So... When you go to your garden centre, I mean, this is the sort of thing you, you pick buy this, up. you've taken it out of the plastic bag, we yeah. had it and put it immediately, it came out of the sand bed into the plastic bag. We don't want these roots drying out. And they dry out very quickly. Very quickly. Okay, so we one. get rid of our string. Another one here. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, our string is gone. And. This looks to me like something from the 18th century. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually bare root. Look at this. Well, bare root is a great way to go. It's a great get way. It, isn't yep. it? You're just about in time now, this time of year. Yeah. Now, how deep do we plant these? Now, I would say to there. You're dead right. Yep, where they were in the ground before, just where the roots are beginning to come out. So really where they we've, were in the ground before. Yeah. And instead of digging individual holes, you're better if we've done here to open a trench. And get the whole get thing done. Get the whole done. thing done. At the bottom of the trench now we've got loosened topsoil with a bit of well rotted manure or compost mixed through it. Right. And we also need to know how far apart we're how going far to apart. put these. I one tell of my you something, I am learning here. She's a quick learner. <laughs> She's a quick learner. <laughs> so we're going to have to see how far we're going we're to We're going to put these 18 these. inches apart, yeah. 45 centimetres. Okay. So we start with number one. Now, what I'm going to get you to do is put the bundle down there. Yeah. Our original soil level is there, so I need that there, spread out the roots a bit. So do you need me to throw I need soil you in? To, yeah, hold that. Yes, actually, okay, I'll hold it and you get the spade. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you're trying to get me to work with I change. most certainly am. Right. So in I right. go. Yeah, just on my next one. There. Okay, so let me just in get the soil in. Right. That's fine, that's enough. Okay. Just this one in here. Hold it and that one in there. Okay. That's enough. One for the next All one. Right. Okay. So the next one is 18 inches apart. 18 inches apart. Okay. There we are. No, sorry. Right. This is right. just a great thing to show yeah. people. Firm we just wouldn't soil. have a clue how to do this. Whoops. I mean, firm the soil as we go. Okay. So I suppose if you can do this with somebody to help you. Oh, you get it, ideally you need somebody here. Yeah. To okay, let me move the a bit of a pain in the place. Yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to do it all. Here's another one. You know what I'm going to make you do? Dig this one out again. Because we should be way up here. Oh, so I'll take. Start digging. 
Continue with the same thing. Same thing. Okay, and what's amazing is this is actually a very affordable hedge to put in, Susan. Well, yeah, bare root is, is the ideal way to go. Yeah. Now, can you give another bit of dig there, please? Sure. I don't want my hands down into the manure. No, exactly. absolutely. Okay, that's fine. Right. Another 18 now. inches. Right, so start to load that in. Start to load. Whoops. Sorry. It's okay. We're not going to worry about an inch or two here or there. No. Does, I suppose if you're doing a big hedge, you need to get the uniformity. Well, you need to get the uniform to get your line set up. Right, okay. Get it done. And that's start So well hedge. firmed, and the thing to remember then now is... Now, do I need to load in the other bit of soil that's around yep, the edge here? Yeah, smooth it all off there. So that we're smoothing it right. Level it all off nicely. Yeah. Water it in. That's the other thing we're going to do. You need to, to water do. this now. You need to water this in. It's ground as... Because it's been dry. Up. Well, yeah. you would water most things, even in bad weather, you'd water things. Would you? In. To get to the roots. It helps to settle the soil around the roots well. Right, okay. And then, like, you know, to now, do some, yeah. as this is growing, you want to keep the area around it free of weeds. You can mulch it with a bark mulch, you could use a mypex sheet or something wrapped around it. You can even use a bit of even if you're not too long a distance in some bin bags or something, but they won't let moisture through. Um, but just something to keep the weeds down so there's no right. competition. Okay. Um, so that's quite an ordeal in itself, isn't it, at this it time just, of the year? I mean, with fair roots and stuff like this, you can you can even use Roundup down low so as you're not getting it on any of the green foliage. Just to kill off just anything. Just to kill off any right. sort of thing. Yeah, we'll straighten that one off there. Yeah, just straighten him up. Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing is, you, you probably won't need to prune that this this year, but you will at some stage, even now, you would even off the height. Even now? Yeah. Even at I this mean, early stage? Generally it's gone speaking, in, yeah. don't let something get to its full height before you prune it. Prune it and shape it as it goes, and then you can let it get that. And are you trying to get it to develop around You're trying the, to get it to develop yes. so that you get a full Perfect. hedge down here the whole way up. Right, okay. And then you either cut it, completely dead straight or with a slight angle from the base coming into the top. Now, but not at this stage, this is later no, this on. This is later as, yeah. you, as it develops. I mean, right. at this stage I'll probably be shortening something like this. Just to tidy it up Just and get it, it up into and get a it line. Sort of yeah. So okay. I'm going to put the rest of these back now in the Now, do I need to feed this, Susan, to promote um, growth or well, anything? Well, we put nice compost or well rock manure into the yes. base of the hole. You're okay now for this year, probably next spring you feed it either by mulching with manure or with a granular And fertilizer. for such a young um, hedge now, would I need to feed with this water regularly? Uh, yes, over the coming growing season, from about, well you water it in well now, yeah. and then from about the beginning of April, once the buds start to burst, through until sort of the end of July, You'll be well watching the watering. Right, okay. Now, so to make very, sure it doesn't dry just to out. To make it sure it doesn't. A good soaking once every week, once every 10 days. And when rather you say than a just good soaking now, that's what I does mean, that coming mean to around me? with the hose and going down there for, say, counting solely up to 15. Dung, so dung, it, that's dung. a. Yeah, so it's not just. And it's shh, better. Shh, it's no, no, the full because thing. you're only wetting the surface, you're encouraging the roots along the surface, you're not making them go looking for water. And that's why deep well, water sort of content. makes them, yeah, it gets right to the roots. That and it makes, makes sense, them, doesn't yeah. it? So it gets right down it to gets get right the down smaller to, roots yeah. to grow. The other thing you can do is you can get these uh, hose pipes which have holes drilled in them and run it along the hedge and say put it on a tap, leave the tap on for, I don't know, 
two or three hours once a week or something, just let it dribble out. Right, okay. Okay. And then That's you can terrific. get watering systems, you know. Absolutely more delighted to have done that. Because a lot of people now will be putting this in and they're trying to hide bad walls or whatever. And yeah. they don't know how to do it. Yeah. Well there you go. And I mean it's it's like everything, it's the better you plant it, the better it grows. Yeah, absolutely. Well you've given us now a great way on how to organise it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. There's a way of yeah. doing it. Yeah.